psychic who visited this haunted house painted a picture of the ghost and it's pretty spooky. She fell down the stairs and she swears she got pushed. That is a rest home for the ladies of the Order of the Eastern Star. Oh, you guys, guys. Walker! 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 A walker. Ooh, that's oh what I just God. said. Oh, sh. Holy. We're at a real life haunted mansion in Massachusetts. That's the fucking noise we were hearing. Yeah, it's going crazy. Are you the woman who died right there in that chair? Can you ring that bell? Oh, no fucking way! Ghostly woman. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Do it. This honestly could take the cake for some of the most intelligent paranormal activity we've ever caught on camera. And it's only been 30 minutes. <laughs> On tonight's episode of The Paranormal Files, we're at a real-life haunted mansion here in Massachusetts. And the story of this historic property is pretty spooky. This building served as sort of a nursing home for women that belonged to a secret society known as the Order of the Eastern Star. There were a couple of somewhat disturbing deaths that occurred here, and the previous owners, the people who built the house, may have been carrying out seances in this very room. Psychic medium actually saw one of the spirits here and told the owner their name and then afterwards painted a painting depicting what exactly the ghost looks like and that painting is right behind us. In my opinion it is kind of an eerie painting but tonight we're going to try contact that elderly woman's spirit along with the spirits of the other people who died inside of this house and even the original owners. My name is Colin Brown, thank you guys for tuning in this evening and welcome to the Paranormal Files. All right, guys, today we are in Orange, Massachusetts, heading to supposedly one of the most haunted places in the state, the Revival Wheeler Mansion. I mean, look at this, Connor. Wow. Can you get a shot of this creepy ass old building? Just looks eerie, doesn't it? <laughs> looks like that place could be haunted too. This place has a really, really interesting history. It was once a rest home or a care home, almost like a nursing home for the women of the Order of the Eastern Star, a secret society. That's oh, so that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. First ever. Mom, were you ever a part of them? No, I would have loved to have been. Yeah. I know. But the cool thing is about this place for everybody online who's watching, there haven't really been that many ghost hunts done here since the building about five years ago was completely abandoned. And it's been restored now by the current owner. You guys are the ones that found this place, so. Yeah. Old haunted mansion. Yeah. That's gonna be super cool. It, I agree. And the images look really, really cool. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I saw pictures turning? of the yeah. place. You're turning right, Jeff. Oh, do I want to run over the sky or what? No, but I just wasn't <laughs> sure if you were gonna miss it. <laughs> Add an extra ghost. <laughs> yeah, right. We say it pretty frequently, but that's just the places we choose to film at. This place looks like a haunted mansion from what wow. we can tell this, online. Oh, it is wait. so cool and huge. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh. I think it's supposed to be. It's going to be right around the right corner. Right up here. Right up here. Oh, Look wow. at that. Oh, oh my God. Oh. That is gigantic. <laughs> Damn, dude. It that's so cool. cool. It looked big in the pictures, but look at that. Wow. Oh, oh my light. God. Oh my gosh. The light. Can I pull in? Yeah. Damn, dude, that looks spooky. Yeah, <laughs> wow. All right, guys. Well, we're pulling okay. in. We're gonna go eat, meet eat the owner. We're gonna go meet the owner right now. But it's not on my schedule to eat the owner. Yeah, I know. 
Later. This looks awesome, y'all, huh? It's it looks super cool. This is awesome. I can't wait. Well, I say we go in. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> The Wheeler Mansion uh, just had a really strange vibe to it. I mean, it's a beautiful place, but I feel like the energy is just way different because it was all women that stayed there. I mean, it's so cool to go to a place like this, a place that I've never really been to anything like that before. I mean, we're also some of the first investigators that have been to this place too. So that's also a really cool thing opening up like a can of worms. We don't know what we're gonna get in there. If it's gonna be happy, if it's gonna be mad, uh, you never know. So we just go in, see what we can talk to. The Revival Wheeler Mansion is just, it looks like the Haunted Mansion. I mean, you put it side by side, it looks like the Haunted Mansion. And it's got just such a beautiful exterior. I mean, it's crazy to think that a, a family lived there, a couple lived there, you know? Um, before it was turned into a care home or a rest home. So there's there's some dark history in the mansion. You had elderly women being taken care of there. In addition to, I mean, you're going to hear about this in a moment through the historical tour, the original people who built the house being a part of a spiritualist church that encouraged, you know, speaking with the dead and doing seances. So there might be portals that are open inside of this home. I thought it was interesting because I had never heard of the place. We got recommended this location from somebody else on this trip. It ended up being one of the most active spots we investigated. This evidence that you're about to see is some of the most highly intelligent paranormal evidence we've ever captured. It's funny, it's scary, it's really interesting. But before we get to all of that, I just need to take it back for a second and bring it to earlier that evening when we met the property owner and got a historical tour of the Wheeler Mansion. Hey, come on in. You ready for a little tour? We are. Awesome. Well, I'll start down here. Um, I'm Cynthia Butler. This is Revival Wheeler Mansion. It was originally called the Wheeler Mansion, but because I was reviving it, because it was abandoned for five years, I decided to add that name to the front of it for my business. So I will be a uh, bed and breakfast called Revival Wheeler Mansion. Um, this is one of the rooms that I haven't completely finished renovating yet, but it's this grand entry um, that comes right into everyone's favorite room, which I call now the ballroom. So this is where I host events, meetings, different things like that. And um, it was, Pretty, pretty decayed. There was a big hole in the floor. The whole ceiling was damaged and falling down. There were no lights. Everything that you see here are things that I brought in. Um, so it was pretty, pretty rough looking. It was um, a rest home prior to the previous owner. The previous owner who abandoned it had it for about 20 years, but before that it was a rest home for the ladies of the Order of the Eastern Star. Um, and in the next room, we think that one of the ladies who still lives here as a ghost is painted and um, she, the painting lives in this room. So we think that's Althea. Althea was one of the residents who lived here. Um, she was also the oldest resident of Massachusetts um, for four years. She had a golden cane, which they give the oldest resident. And she passed away here. And um, the things that we've had happen here, the ghosts, the, the spirits that have, have visited us, they've all been kind of coy and prankster-ish. Um, and when someone told me what her personality was like, it, it fit perfectly. And then I was able to find a picture of her from one of the previous workers. Um, and she's holding her daughter and I saw the picture after this was painted and it looks so much like her that I'm like, maybe that is Althea. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah her bedroom is one of the rooms where uh, a lot of the paranormal activity has happened. So, so I'll be curious to see what you guys get tonight. So what, what exactly for people online is the Order of the Eastern Star? 
the Order of the Eastern Star is a, a Masonic organization. It's one of the only ones that allowed women. So you had to be a relative of someone, of a man who was a member. And um, it had sisters, daughters, nieces, cousins, wives, things like that. So you didn't have to be married to one. You could be uh, any in any of the family lineage as long as someone in your family was a, a Freemason. And it didn't have to necessarily be Order of the Eastern Star, um, but they that was just one that they could join. So all the women that lived here from 1925 to 1990 were all members. And I guess there's still a, a large chapter here in Massachusetts, but I haven't visited them yet. Interesting. Did they do secret rituals like the Freemasons? I have no idea, but I'm learning about Almira Wheeler, who was John Wheeler's wife. Um, John Wheeler is the man who built the mansion. They were part of a spiritualist church in Turner's Falls. After John died here in the mansion in 1910, his wife, who inherited all of his money, left and married the reverend of the spiritualist church. Uh, and then she joined and built a house, built a temple, and that um, still resides in Lake Pleasant. So I have just been in contact with the lady who owns her, her house that she built after she left here. So I'm gonna go see how she lived after that. But I guess the spiritualist church was a little cultish from what I'm understanding, so. Spiritualist as in they wanted to connect with spirits? They had seance rooms. Um, yeah, it was definitely uh, not your typical religion. Interesting. They channeled, channeled spirits. So you, is it fair to say that they might have been channeling in here if they were members of that church? Could have been. It's interesting to think um, about. I don't know that the ladies who lived here that were the Eastern Star were, but Almira definitely was. Yeah, that's crazy. And she's one of the most fascinating because, so John died in 1910. She remarried this spiritualist rever reverend in 1912, just two short years after inheriting a whole lot of money. If you equate how much this mansion was built for back then to today, it was built for 200,000. Today's standards would be 6 million. So she, she had a lot of money. Um, and then two years after she married him in 1914, he died of accidentally ingesting a poisonous liquid. Hmm. So I was like, Accidentally. Mm. Accidentally. <laughs> so it made me wonder how John died. So I went searching for his death certificate, which is how I found out that he died here in the mansion. Um, he died of pneumonia. Who knows? I, I would how. love, I would love for him to like come in and tell right. me. Right. I wonder how someone mysteriously, accidentally drinks poison. I have no idea. <laughs> Unless they were making some sort of concoction and didn't realize it would be poison. I have no idea. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm hoping that the, uh, the spiritualist church will have a little more information on how everything was for Almira. Because after he died, she disappeared until 1920 when I found an article of her death in Montague, which is just a few towns over. But from when the man died, Tabor Thompson, to when she died, there was nothing in the papers that I could find. Wow. So I'm like, what happened to her? <laughs> she turned into a ghost. So I'd really like to know what it was like for them here. So I have a little bit more information about what it was like when it was an Eastern Star home, but there are no pictures that I found of the mansion, inside the mansion from when the Wheelers lived here. I just know that when it was originally built, it was four bedroom. So it's 15,000 square foot. Some big bedrooms. Big bedrooms. <laughs> you can kind of see the original walls when you walk through because they're a foot thick. The walls that are short, that are um, less thick than that were built when it was an Eastern Star home. So they chopped it up and built 20 bedrooms. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. The door that you came in would have been the entrance to when the wheelers arrived, they would have come in that door because that was their carriage drive and the carriage house is directly behind you. So this would have been how they entered. This would have been for the guests and this would have been for the owners. Wow.
Another favorite room is the dining room. This room didn't sustain as much damage, but it held a lot of mysteries because I read an article about how he built with so many different materials and got things from everywhere and um, it talked about a jade fireplace and I hadn't noticed the jade fireplace um, until I read the article and it came straight home and started looking and he had a jade fireplace imported from China. Uh -huh. So <laughs> that's kind of how much money he had back Yeah, then. that's so, opulent right there. Yeah. Jade is not cheap. It's not, <laughs> and to have huge slabs of it like that. And then the, also, so, so much money that he had like a bank safe. Oh, wow. That is, oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. It doesn't work right now. Uh, I don't have anything to put in it yet. All of my money went to renovating, but maybe one day <laughs> I'll get it working again. Uh, one of the interesting things about this house too that I didn't realize until I was up there painting the ceiling, there are four cameos around the center and each one of them is slightly different. Um, John had three daughters and a wife. Two of the daughters passed away before they were two years old. Um, one lived to be a full age and then um, his wife, Elmira. So I was like, I don't know, maybe that's his representation. That's super of those interesting. Ladies. Yeah. yeah, this is also the original track lighting. I don't know if you wow. saw that. <laughs> I've never really seen that. I had never seen it before either. I was happy those lights were still here. All the other lights were taken through the whole mansion, but they left those here. Yeah. And then I had an official china closet. <laughs> yeah, <those are> <laughs> but this kitchen I know was redone. And this wouldn't have been a fancy kitchen back then anyway because they had people to cook for them, so they never came in here. So I'm sure it was very utilitarian. But when it was a rest home, they served all of their meals here. So all the counters and everything are original to when it was a rest home. Um, the thing that I love most about this room is the subway tile. It's got curved edges on everything. There are no sharp edges on any of the tiles. So all the tile had to have been custom made for this room. So when you say rest home, is that like an older term for like a nursing home? Yes. Can you explain it, that for people? The rest home was not an end of life rest home. Uh, it was where they could come and be taken care of. So they signed over their wealth to signed over their wealth to Eastern Star and were able to live here until they had to uh, until they passed away or either had to go into a convalescent home. Uh, the requirements were you could walk with a cane but not with a walker. And if you needed constant nursing care, you had to go to a convalescent home. But they did have an in-house nurse. 24 hours a day. They had the, the in-house cooks 24 hours a day and they had um, servants, for lack of a better term. You know, people who kind of got them tea and books from the library and like whatever they wanted. Um, so everything that I've learned about it is not your typical rest home where you think of like the elderly being abused and things like that. Like these were very well taken care of ladies. They even had a hairstylist and a manicurist that was here wow. to make them all look nice. The fact that it stayed open to 1990 is pretty fascinating because women couldn't own property at a certain age. You know, so in the 19, 1925, it made sense if they couldn't inherit property, but they outlived their husbands or their fathers or whatever, where would they live? They would have to move in with somebody else. So this was their way of not having to, kind of taking their own care into their own hands not having to rely on another family member. But that stopped, obviously, you yeah. know? <laughs> but they still kept living here. So there, there's something, and there was always a wait list too. How many people do you think died here? I know of three. Um, I know of Althea, passed away in her sleep. There was another lady, and I can't remember her name right now, but in the foyer where you came in, uh, she was going to check the mail and sat down in the chair right next to the front door and never got up. Uh, she's another one. And then there was one other one um, that again, was like a natural causes, passed away in her. Interesting. But most of the people who worked here um, only worked here from like the 70s, mid 70s. Anybody older than that has already passed away. So there's not a lot of history beyond the 70s. 
which is unfortunate because I would have liked to have known yeah. <laughs> more of them. I named the rooms after the ones who were here that uh, I was able to get the most information on that were like the later year residents. And so they're all uh, represented here. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I should probably tell you this before um, I leave you to your investigation. So one of the funny things about the house is I was noticing people falling down the stairs and I was like, why, why is everybody falling? Um, and then I came in, like researched it, you know, like figured it out. The wall ends here, the handrail ends here, but there's one extra step and everyone misses this extra step. <laughs> so whoever was the architect either had a wicked sense of humor or um, an oversight. But I try to put these here so people can see there is something else here because I didn't want to put the ugly tape down. But so many people have fallen that I, I will probably have to put the tape down eventually. <laughs> yeah, I have a camera there just so I can like collect bloopers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. Yeah, I thought that it was just exclu exclusive to there, but it's actually on this staircase too. Uh, oh, wow. So. And that one's particularly dark because there's no light there, no light source. So it's a little iffy. So this room, not a lot has happened here for us, but um, when there have been other investigations here, they were able to get things from here. This one housed the matron. So whoever was the matron at that time, this is where they stayed. So. Other than that, I don't really have a whole lot of information on this particular room. It was uh, one of the first rooms that I did though, when I was renovating it. But this room, so this is just a hallway. It goes out to a fire escape and then there's a little utility room there. Um, when I got this room, there was a wall here, but it was badly damaged and had to take it down, it was falling down. And then I realized it wasn't even bolted to the floor. So it was a very temporary wall. But this mirror was also painted. And I was like, why would anybody paint a mirror? So I got an X-Acto knife and brought it up and like scraped it to see if it was still a mirror behind it. It was a mirror. Someone took a picture in here by themselves and behind them was a figure. <laughs> so you could like, just like where you're standing now. Papa Spooks, where I can see you. <laughs> so it'd be like me taking this picture and then there'd be somebody right behind. I was like, well, that's interesting. Um, so this one has, I think, a little something to it. Um, I would love to find out who painted it though and exactly why, but it would make sense that if you saw something in the mirror every time you looked in it, you might want to paint it too. That is eerie. <laughs> yeah, I wonder yeah. why they would paint over a mirror. Yeah, yeah the first pictures I have of it. It's like you can see it white and you can see my little scrape marks on it to like see. Because <laughs> like, I was like, why would they do this? We love a little mystery. I know. And this one just kind of keeps unfolding as I go along. So that's just a bathroom. This is an unrenovated bathroom. Uh, it's kind of, it's got a bunch of stuff stored in it right now, but this is what all the rooms looked like before I started. Oh, um, like, just completely destroyed. So this is Althea's room. This room also had a split on it too, uh, but this wall was taken down before I got it. So this would have been her side of the room and this was someone else's. Um, the door behind you, for when you, sh when you push it, it doesn't have a doorknob on it. So when you push it, it stays shut. But I come in here so many times and it's just popped open. Um, before I started renovating anything in this room uh, or anything on the second floor, we were living here already, um, but we were staying in the carriage house and it was the first winter. And we came here in September and I was trying to dry out everything. So I put all the windows down, put the dehumidifiers on when it got cold and you know, kind of batten down the hatches. And I was like, I'm just gonna run through the mansion and see. I didn't have the water cut on yet, so I wasn't worried about freezing pipes or anything. But I came in and this window was open. And it was, the storm window was up and the pools were open. So it wasn't just like one or the other, it was just wide open. There's no fire escape, there's nothing. It's 
on the street facing side. So I was like, why would anybody try to climb in that one if somebody was trying to break in or climb out of it, out of all of the places here? Um, didn't think anything else about it. Uh, I was remodeling this room. This wallpaper went up in a day. Now, and I don't wallpaper, it's not what I do professionally, but I was like, wow, this is so easy. It just like went up so quickly, start decorating everything. I threw a white bedspread on the bed and the light started flashing. And I was like, okay, and I had a friend with me and I was like making a joke you know, that, that because it's haunted. I was like, okay, okay, I see, it doesn't match. And I pulled it off and it stopped flashing. Wow. I was like, oh. <laughs> It's like, I see you, okay, I'll, go get you. I'll get you another one. But I didn't know this one was Althea's room at the time. It was the following summer, last summer, when I interviewed one of the ladies who worked here and I gave her a blueprint and I was like, can you just write where all the women, because I want to name the rooms after them. And she took it and she came back to do an interview and to like show me pictures and everything. And I'm looking at it and I was like, that's Althea's room. <laughs> I was like, that's awesome. So. I, I like this room. Um, it, it's my first experience. Oh. So there were three deaths in the building, including John Wheeler? No. Yeah. No, no, no. The, John Wheeler was the first, but the, the ladies, there were ladies, three. The, yeah, three of the ladies okay, that I know of. I'm sure there were more. <laughs> I'm sure as well. For that long of a facility to be running? Yeah. And. There's just no way of like, I've, I don't know how to find who the ladies are or anything. I thought maybe I could go through all of the death certificates for all the ladies of the Order of the Eastern Star in the area and try to find out. But I was like, how much research is that? <laughs> right. Seems like a lot. Because <laughs> there are a lot buried here. Like I could go and look for them. They all have um, Order of the Eastern Star, their logos on their tombstones. So I could find them and go look. So it's not impossible, but it's, I've been too busy renovating. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this, this room, I wallpapered it. It looks like crap. <laughs> the wallpaper would not stick to the walls. It took me four days and I was just cussing the whole time. And then I did that one right after it and it went up in a day and I was like, why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The next room I'm gonna take you down, um, something happened to my roommate um, while I was here. Uh, which I'll explain to you, kind of, you'll see the distance of where everything is. So these are the two rooms that I'm still working on, that's the last bedroom. But then we have this really long hallway. This room has someone living in it right now, roommate. <clears throat> so when I first moved here, I had a friend of mine from LA came, she's from Massachusetts, so she came and stayed during COVID and oh, this was her bedroom. I've redone it since she was here. She was in her bedroom and I was outside just by where you guys parked and I was doing some gardening outside and she came outside and she said, what'd you need? I said, what are you talking about? She said, you just said, Kate, come here. I was like, no, I didn't, I've been outside. I had not told her when we first moved in, I was in the kitchen, my daughter was on the third floor and my daughter called down to me and said, hey, mom, come here. And I said, I'm busy, what do you need? She goes, I need you to come here. So I put away what I was doing, five minutes, no more, went upstairs and she was on the third floor. So you saw where the kitchen was. It was, and our rooms were on this side of the house. I, she, I, she's laying down in her bed, face down. And I was thinking, she's messing with me. She's 10, you know, she's messing with me. So I just walked over and I pushed her really hard and she rolled over and she had creases all over her face. She says, what? I was like, you just called me. What did you need? She's like, I've been asleep. And I was like, I just walked up three flights of stairs. I heard you call me. And she's like, I didn't, I swear. And I went back downstairs, finished putting things away, and it didn't register until my roommate came outside and said the exact same thing to me. And I was like, they're mimicking our voices. And about a month and a half ago, one of my friends, Rosie, who lives around the corner, she comes and helps me do a lot of things and she knows the code to the door. I was on the second floor doing something and I hear her, hey, I'm here. And I was like, hey, I'll be down in a sec. I go downstairs, nobody was there. I open the door, cause sometimes if she doesn't hear me, she's 80, mid eighties. Um, if she doesn't hear me, she leaves. So I came downstairs and I was like, oh, maybe she left. I'll give her a couple of minutes to get home. 
gave her a couple of minutes, called her. I was like, were you just here? And she's like, no. I was like, I just heard you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and so she's like, oh, okay. All right. So I was like, yeah. And then I was like, are you okay? Is everything okay with you? And she's like, well, I've had kind of a bad day. So it was, it was cool to like be able to call her and cheer her up. But I was like, you were just here. They That's creepy. Yeah. That's the, to me, the creepiest yeah. Yeah. paranormal stuff is mimicking. Yeah. Like that. They mimic our voices a lot. Uh, I had a murder mystery dinner party and we were all in the ballroom where you started out and there were 20 people in there and I was so happy that everybody was here to watch it. So the murder happened in the hallway. I was very dramatic. It was fully immersive. And I was like, we have to go into the ballroom. We have to stay together. Nobody can leave. We got to find out who did the murder. And as we walked past the front doors that you came in are out swinging doors. The doors blew open so hard that we thought somebody was outside and pulled them. And I was like, nobody's out here. So I went and I pulled them shut and I was like, that's so weird. And we all go inside. There's music playing, like ambient music playing in the background. And I'm doing the murder mystery and we're going through the scripts and everything. And I hear someone talking in the hallway and I just kind of look around the room to try to see who was missing. And I was like, who's out there? And everybody heard them. And so one of my friends went out into the hallway toward the dining room, like down the hallway and came back. She was like, there's no one out there. And I was like, that is so weird. They walked back into the room and the music lifted up. We didn't even notice that the music had completely died down. And I was like, <laughs> all right. So we all heard the talking in the hallway. Nobody was there. I looked on the cameras. I have cameras on the property outside. Nobody was outside. So it wasn't like somebody had just come in. We get to the end of the game. And this was a masquerade game where everyone is a, um, an animal. So we have cats, lions, dogs, a phoenix, like all these different things. My dog was on the third floor in my bedroom with the door shut and we're getting right to where we're about to announce who the murderer is and it's anonymous. I didn't even know. It was, we pulled it out of a hat so nobody knew who it was. And um, my dog comes barreling into the room barking at everyone. And I had heard her upstairs barking at one point because you know she hears us. So she's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Um, she comes into the room. She sees everyone, we come in, or I get her in, like calm her down. And I was like, okay, let's finish, continue it's a two and a half hour game. So we're like getting to the end. So we were all kind of getting tired at this point anyway. And it was the dog who was the murderer. <laughs> and I was like, and I was still like, who let her, how did you get out? Cause she, my doors, she's tiny. My doors, you know, they're, they're this thick. So they're not easy to open and shut and she can't reach up and grab the knobs or anything. So she came running downstairs and I was like, okay, this is crazy. Someone let her out of my bedroom. That is eerie. And the fact wow. that it was the dog who was the the murderer was hilarious. Cherry on top. Yeah. Right there. Yep. And everybody got to see it, which was also fun. Cause I was like, I told you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so I was about right here when I heard Rosie. So I was thinking she was just down the stairs, which is the service stairs here that goes to the the kitchen and the back door and so i was like you're right there i, I heard you i'm right there and she was gone yeah. all right here's the extra step i was talking about it looks like you end there but there's one more step this one goes down so watch this side but one of the scariest parts is how low this rail is i have someone making an addition to it right now but it's Really wow. low. Yeah. And it's a long way down. So before anybody stays with us forever. Ooh, you would think like an elderly person would be right. at risk of that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's about um, five inches too low. <laughs> you just have to walk really close over here. Yeah. Just, <laughs> if, I tell everyone, if you're afraid of heights, hug the wall because it is particularly low. I mean, even this part is like an inch and a half higher than that part. So that is even lower. You know, the place people want to look over. So we live on the third floor, um, but I keep these open. This is one of the guest bedrooms. Uh, haven't had any experiences in there or this bathroom. But this room was John wow. Wheeler's billiard room. I had read an article at the Historic Society that talked about his billiard room and it had a dome ceiling. Before um, 
when I first got here, this was three bedrooms and the ceiling was dropped down. So I'm walking around on the ground floor going, they call this dome ceilings? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what they called it back then. I mean, it's high ceilings on the ground floor. Um, I climbed up in the attic and I saw a mural painted on the wall and I scanned across and I saw the dome. So we took out seven tons of plaster out of this room and the, the walls for the bedroom and wow. opened this up. So this room has a little bit of a, a feeling to me. And his initials are on the um, fireplace, John Wilson Wheeler. Oh, that's so it's the only reference to him in the whole mansion. That's really cool to have that in here. Yeah. So have you had any experiences in here? None that I've had, I just have a feeling. Like even when I when it was closed off, it was this long, dark hallway and I would walk down it and get like that cold air on the back of my neck, like where everything would just kind of like stand up. And I felt like people were in the rooms looking out at me as I walked down the hallway. Uh, so I was pretty excited to open it up and then everything kind of felt calmer. It was just more of like, yeah, like a chaotic feeling up here before I took out the walls. So Mary, do you know if this is an Easter or a Christmas cactus, or do you know? It's a Christmas. Christmas? Yeah. That was donated to me by a woman who uh, owned one of the mansions in Greenfield, and she had to go to a convalescent home. And I, I've been in the newspaper a couple of times here, and she's like, can you? She told her caregiver, can you contact the really nice lady in the mansion in Orange and see if she wants my... Christmas cactus. It's like over 30 years old. It's the biggest wow. one I've ever seen. Yeah, wow. So I was like, I'll take it. Yeah. But then it was all this pressure to keep it alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I just give it a little bit of water every once in a while. So yeah. with the seances, mm -hmm. where do you think John and his wife's name was? Almira. Almira and John. Where do you think they would have been doing those seances? Any idea? I have no idea because I don't know which one was really into it. Was it, I mean, it makes me think that Elmira was because she's the one that left and went there and maybe it was, they were donating money to the spiritualist church before John passed away, which was one of the more interesting facts that I found out for her to then go marry that guy. I was like, hmm. So they already had an affiliation with this church prior to John dying. Um, so I feel like it was her that might have been more into it than him. He seemed to be more into politics and governing and uh, he was the president of New Home Sewing Machine Company uh, for 50 years, 48 years, something like that. So I think he was definitely more um, structured and a lot, I know a lot of uh, Freemasons were agnostics, so maybe that was her thing. Interesting. I wish I could ask them. Oh. I'm fascinated by them. The more I started digging into their history, the more questions I had, because they also have another mansion on Wheeler Ave, which is a 5,000 square foot mansion, and it's maybe two miles away. Wow. And so they called that the summer home. So I think this was John's grandiose display of wealth. And people have written to me and said, this is not the Wheeler Mansion because Elmira didn't like it. She, the other mansion is called the Wheeler Mansion. I was like, well, I'm pretty sure this is called the Wheeler Mansion. I've seen all the postcards from the early 1900s that called this the Wheeler Mansion. Uh, but she didn't like it apparently, which would make sense why she left immediately after. Hmm, wonder why okay. she didn't like it. It's a really nice, really big house. I know, I know. I have no idea. I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm hoping that when I go to Lake Pleasant and do a little more research on her, I'll be able to like figure out more about her. So anything else to show us? Anywhere else to cover? Nope, that's pretty much it. That's the, the areas. Oh. So what would you say are the most active parts of the house based on paranormal investigations? Uh, oh, there was one other thing. The kitchen has been, uh, a spot for a lot of it. So my contractors, when we were knocking out the walls here, I left for the weekend because it was so dusty. My allergies were going crazy. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a couple of days off and, and go visit some friends in New Hampshire. They were in the kitchen having lunch and it was just the four of them here in the whole house. 
and they called me and they're like something broke I'm like what do you mean something broke <laughs> what is like we were having lunch and we all heard it it was like a shattering glass above us and it was in February so none of the windows were open so it wasn't like a window had shut or shattered or anything like that so they went two on one side of the house two on the other side of the house we didn't have a whole lot of power connected at this point because the transformer wasn't here yet um, there were three transformers in the basement and only one of them worked and so the power was kind of sporadic through the whole mansion they, they went through the whole house came back down nothing they swapped to go check again came back down nothing he had me on speakerphone he's like we're really sorry. I don't know where this, you know, what's broken, but we all heard it. Something here is broken. We just can't find it. And I just was being cheeky and I said, well, what were you guys talking about before you heard it break? Maybe the ladies of the house didn't like it very much. And I heard one of the contractors go, it's not ghost. Don't say it's ghost. And I was like, I bet it was the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, oh, I was like, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll be back. In two days, I'll come and look, you know, don't worry about it. It's not like there was a lot of things inside the mansion at this point anyway. We hadn't really moved a bunch of stuff in. We hadn't really started renovating, so um, I wasn't too terribly concerned. But I got back and there was nothing. Interesting. Yeah. So for me, it's been Althea's room. Uh, the kitchen has has had a lot and the ballroom. I don't, I've never felt scared. I've never felt like I was being watched, but like in that eerie sort of way. I think that there are things here. I mean, I 100% think there are things here. There are spirits here. I, I feel like they try to communicate. I will sometimes see, um, like I have the little lights that you turn and the lights light up and I'll unscrew them so that the light's not on and every once in a while I'll go into a room and one of the lights will be turned hmm. and on and I'm like, oh, they're trying like to communicate. Yeah. yeah, it's like little things like that. Uh, and I just, I talk to them now. I'm like, okay, hi. <laughs> Thanks for saying hello. Uh, but I don't feel threatened. Uh, I had someone who was staying here for a couple of months and she ended up not being the best person. I didn't realize that. She was like a friend of a friend. I was like, yeah, you can come and stay, you know, rest for a little while, come hang out. She fell down the stairs and she swears she got pushed. She was the only one in the house. Um, and then she got to the bottom of the stairs and she said she stood up like everything was fine. She didn't get hurt. She just felt like someone carried her down the stairs, but like forcefully pushed. And this was before I started seeing the crazy. So I was like, oh, well, I'm glad you're okay. And then I was like, oh. Maybe she did get pushed. Maybe they saw things I didn't know. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> They're like, get out of here. <laughs> so, I don't know. But I've never had anything. And, you know, my daughter has never been afraid to be here. And she's just a kid. So, I don't feel haunted, I guess. Yeah. The SK Pierce people, though, they were like, come there. You'll feel haunted there. She's like, they really want to hurt you there. They tell you they want to hurt you there. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> they do, too, based on what happens. Oh, you guys had that crazy. experience, too? Yeah. It's pretty active. Yeah. Well, I guess are you guys ready to start? Looks like it. Oh, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Do we have to investigate or can we just like yeah. hang out? Yeah, no, <laughs> Play pool, up. have tea yeah, with the ladies, <laughs> watch some movies. Yeah. <laughs> so the history of this place is super cool. I mean, so much history in this place, but also it just being all women there. We really didn't understand how that would affect the investigation with it just being women, if they would like us there, if they didn't want us there. I mean, the evidence will speak for itself. It was now time to investigate the haunted mansion. And we were all really excited. I mean, the place had this really low key, strange energy that you could feel, but it wasn't scary, but you could feel that it. it was right there. Almost like a friendly guy standing right next to you. He's not gonna hurt you, but you can feel him standing right there. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it was, it was, it was just looking to be a very spooky night and as you're about to see, the activity was highly intelligent, but 
To start our investigation that evening, we decided to set up in the parlor room where dances took place, receptions, where that woman died of a heart attack just in the room next to it. And the activity we captured was shocking. All right, guys, so it is about nine o'clock right now. We are finally all alone here in the Wheeler Mansion, the Revival Wheeler House. There's a couple elements to the story that I find extremely interesting. Obviously, the painting of the ghost um, is eerie. I mean, there's just something about that painting that, I don't know, a smile. I don't want to say it's menacing, but it's just, it's kind of creepy. Like there's a eerie expression on this woman's face, not to talk badly about the woman. I'm sure she was a sweet woman, but I mean, you can't deny that that's kind of an eerie painting. So I'm hoping we see her tonight or at least are able to talk to her in the building. Then there's also, in my opinion, what's really interesting, the fact that the first people that built and lived in this house, the Wheelers, were members of that spiritualist church, which means more than likely they were doing seances here in the house, most likely in that parlor room, the dining room, possibly even this room or the upstairs. And that's kind of like the story of the Kreischer Mansion, if you remember that video where the owners were doing these seances inside of their building. And well, I should say the owner because his brother took his own life or was murdered. And when they did these seances, portals opened that they couldn't close. So since there haven't been a lot of investigations here at this place, I think it's really interesting that we've been given the opportunity to investigate and try to tell some of this story and figure out exactly what's going on inside of this old historic mansion. But we got the whole crew here today. <laughs> let's start. Let's start with Jeff this time. Jeff, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. It's a little bit chilly in here. Um, I think the place is actually really a cool place. Like Colin or what's your name, Connor said <laughs> earlier. It's like pretty, pretty uh, amazing actually how, what she's done to restore this place. But I think the connection to the Masonic Temple is really, really interesting. I think the fact that John and Elmira was at Wheeler that built the home were in, with that spiritualist church like you said, probably did some sort of seances or whatever you want to call them. So I think I feel like this place is like got stuff here, but it's like not never been explored very, very much, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm kind of interested, like it's kind of like a newbie in a sense. I know there's other people that have been here, but I don't think anybody that we've really heard. Of, Anything from, no. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to see if we can pull something out here and see what's here. Agree, my man Connor. I don't know. I like going to places like this that don't really have all the history found out about it yet. Uh, with this being a nursing facility with older women, I mean, there's probably a lot of deaths that happened in this place. Not necessarily violent deaths, but still deaths nonetheless. The ends of people's lives were lived here. Uh, a lot of residual energies probably left behind beautiful house too there's really not much to say about like how beautiful this place is just that i mean it was decaying so much and then she was able to bring it back to life and so i'm very thankful that we get to investigate a place like this people like um cynthia put all their blood sweat and tears or money into these places to save them and mm -hmm. it's it's pretty pretty amazing so people i appreciate when you're respectful of these people because they're 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 really doing a great service for yeah. us saving history because i mean they could have easily just stripped this place down into nothing and just tore it down but oh, she worth the wood it worth yeah everything these doors everything mary hello rocking the paranormal files merch you bet you bet it's sold out let us know, know in the comments if you want another round of merch i know i was lucky and got a piece yeah so and low key we're working on designs right now yeah so let us know in the comments if you want some more but how are you doing mom i know you love good old haunted mansions i love a haunted mansion and this one is spooky it's really creepy and I'm so excited. I agree with everything these two said about Thank the you. history. <laughs> very well, well said. Um, and I'm just ready to investigate. It's, it's super creepy in here. Yes, it is guys. Ooh. All right, everybody. I think it's time we, uh, we dig into the history here. Okay. And get spooky. Ooh. 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 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're just setting up. And those are ready. Oh my god. The rum pot is That's really creepy. Oh my god. It's wow. going crazy. Is that the music box in the other room? Yeah. Oh my god. We're just setting up. Mr. Wheeler? John, is that you? Althea, is that you? Oh my god. It's going crazy. Can you step away from that? Hey guys. Oh my god. Wow, well, let's reset this in. Okay guys, so we literally just got everything set up. We're in the parlor room right now of the Wheeler, Revival Wheeler Mansion. Immediately, look at these insane spikes on the Paralite right there. Yeah. That's, wow, what the That's really going crazy. I mean, dude, it's going all the way to the max. If you're here with us, and you're causing that thing to spike and light up. Can you touch the red light right next to it? Taunt. Oh my gosh. I hate turn the It's funny because she was saying that there's like a trickster kind of spirit here. Mm-hmm. And look at there it goes. It's kind of trippy. Look at it, it stopped. Wow. I thought we were gonna have to reset it. That's bizarre. So what would it again be like if it were something causing it to do that? It would just be whistle, constant. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I heard a loud, loud, like boom from yeah. over there. Kind of one of those heavy doors closing. Right. And it said. Mine said enrolled. Like what smell? Like a smoky smell. This is spelled like P R V A. Parva. Parva. Is so it just a whistle? Okay, we're gonna whistle it for you, but first, to anybody here in the Wheeler house, John, Althea, any women who were Order of the Eastern Star, we just want to speak with you this evening. The loft. Oh. <sighs> Where she said it feels dark and weird. Sounds like there might be some some something. Children are playing. Something up in the loft. If you're here with us, my name's Colin. My name's Mary. My name's Jeff. My name's Connor. And we just want to speak with you this evening. So <clears throat> you said whistle, so can you whistle back to us? Doctor. There was a nurse. There was a nurse here. I wander these grounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did they had a nurse on site here? Yeah. We really. We would love to hear you make a sound. We want to let you know we're just here to hang out. We totally believe you're here. Could you knock to us or come touch one of these lights near us? Just show us that you're here somehow. Tell us your name even. Also, we know these devices are very new to you and you might not know how to use them. So you can communicate with us however you know how. 
to communicate with us. You can talk, knock, whistle. We're listening. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. After that kind of whistle too. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. I respect you. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you. We respect you as well. Thanks for talking to us. Can you spell out a name on this device here? You, you're, you're, you're doing it already with letters, but try to make it into a, a letter or a name that we know. Okay. Jeff, try to whistle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It's an older woman's name, too. That's my cousin. I'm sorry. Is there a woman named Greta here with us? Greta? If you're here, can you make a noise like... Your name. Your name! Like Greta introduced, now she wants our name. I'm Jeff. I'm Connor. I'm Mary. Agatha. And I'm Colin. Oh, hey, Agatha. Greta and Agatha. Agatha. Wow, I'm gonna get in here, too. Yeah. <laughs> well. Look at their women. More to the stories. More, More to, the, to stories, the stories, I bet. Oh. But hey, Agatha. But think of all the people that were here in the, you know, nursing home. I know. And with the Northern Star, is that what it's called? Eastern. Okay, I'll say it again. <laughs> but there, there are a couple. There's <laughs> the star it's the, the northern star. <laughs> Follow the shepherds. Mary, did you not? <laughs> hey, you know, um, what say that? there are women, though. You know, that name's so. Ulf. Not really what it is. OHF. <laughs> OHF is what it lastly spelled out. If either Greta or Agatha is here, there's a little silver bell on the middle of the table. Can you go touch that bell and ring it for us to let us know you're here? Oh! oh. There you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, Whoa, dude. Wealthy. Thank you. Wealthy. 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 Definitely. Wealthy. This is definitely wealthy. Using my voice. Good job. This, crazy. That how do you ask it and then it immediately with the other spikes too? Agatha and Greta, either one of you, if you're here, can you just put your first letter of your of your name on this device? Just get, just give me your first letter, please. Also, could you ring that bell once if it's Agatha? And ring it twice if it's Greta. Wow. Oh, once Agatha, right? Oh, which one did I say? Yeah, you said Agatha. Thank you, Agatha. Can you? Oh. oh. I love this bell. Agatha, did you die here in this house? You ring it once for yes, two times for no. That's almost, that's almost like a, yeah, that's almost like one. Potentially. Potentially. Okay. Maybe it's like something in the middle, like she got really sick, or like had a heart attack here, and died like. In the hall. Died in the, in the hall. In the hall. The woman who died right there. Oh my gosh, she did. She went right. the mail. Oh right? yes. And she said, right in the hall. Mm -hmm. Are you the woman who died right there in that chair? Can you ring that bell? Oh, oh my god. I just got chills. Me too. Suffered. Suffered. Wait, didn't she die of a heart attack? Yeah. 
That's what I was just saying. I know. Agatha, if you're here with us, can you make some sort of noise out in the hallway? Hey! No! Hey! No! Look at it! Look at it! Look at okay. it! Hey! Hold it up there and show hey. it. Hey! Hey! Make sure you get it. It, it switched A before. first, not turn to I. Hold up. Let me zoom in. So, the I just came up. Yeah, Usually. The the I was Connor's fault for moving it. Not his what? fault, but he. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, oh. it popped up because he touched it. But you can oh. see the A right there. It just did that by itself. But like I said, we're debunking the I because Connor touched but, the device. But the A is crazy. Agatha. So how about John Wilson Wheeler? John, if you're here, you built this house. Let us, you should be around here. I bet you can come back when you want, but let us know by- Thank you for respect. Did the you're smell you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Maybe give us the, your first letter or your name on the device or say it out loud. Hiding in the dark. Oh, we were hiding in the dark. Oh, we played hide and seek before this. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's fucking creepy. Thank you, are with us. Mr. Wheeler? We need power. Oh, I don't like that. Well, I'm not taking any power, like energy, to, to help them communicate. Yeah, take it, take it from any of these devices. Take the power from any of these. Just not the camera, please. Yeah. Not Wait, feathers. Feathers. Wait. Isn't there a room with feathers in it? Or am I tripping yeah. out? You're tripping. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn yeah. I saw feathers somewhere. Agatha! What if it was, I mean, Agatha, Althea? Maybe mm. it just came up wrong on there. You know, maybe you're trying to do. Yeah, I think you just... What's that noise? You could be right. Listen. You know, it's weird. Wait, what's that noise? What the f was that? It sounds like a rocking chair. It sounds like something, I thought it sounded like a, like a wheelchair or like a, like rolling. Yeah. Like and oh. music. Continuous, not like just a knock or something. No. It just kind of kept going. We need to walk over this room and look at this real quick. It, it was actually here. really good. That was so loud. Oh, dude, guys, oh, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Right when you get walker. Out here. walker! A walker. Dude, that's oh what we just God. said. Oh, sh. Holy fuck, man. Oh, wow, that's wild, dude. We're, what? Don't worry, Agatha. We're gonna come back. Oh! <laughs> Dude! It's so crazy to think, like, right here, there's a ghost standing right here. Insist. Look at this. You guys just stay. We're just gonna make sure nothing got moved over here. Yeah. That was so loud. Did you just make a noise? Did you just go? No. Did you just make a noise? Did you just make a noise? You didn't fucking hear that in the video. That was creepy. I didn't want to. Well, nothing was moved over there. No. No. 
It's, you can feel like a lot of energy Your mom like in this Jeff. room. Yeah, you can. Oh. Right when we sat back down. Victim. Were you a victim of a crime? Maybe the guy who accidentally drank poison. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. true. We don't know his name though, right? Mm -hmm. Is Miriam here tonight? Okay. Hi everyone. Hey, okay, it's Miriam. <laughs> Miriam, did you kill your second husband, the Reverend? If you killed him, I was gonna say, bring the back. Oh, 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 I actually felt a little something here. I'm not kidding. I really. I was just gonna. I was just gonna. Go, I was just gonna go up and do this. I thought like, there was something right here. Jeez. Holy shit. That's freaky. Oh, <laughs> not. three dings too. Kind of like, oh, oh. I feel kind of like icky right over here, dude. That's so crazy how those two are. Miriam, do you want to grab one of our heads and stroke our hair? Jeez. Go ahead. Helen. Helen. Another woman's name. Another yeah. woman. Wow. It's funny. We it's have crazy. Any, I don't think we've gotten one man. I don't know. I don't think we have. Helen? Helen, were you here in the rest home? Can you ring that bell if you were in the rest home? Eden. Eden. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. What, the heck? what the heck? Dude, that is fucking crazy. I swear I'm hearing noises now all of a sudden upstairs. Do you want us Are... Do you want us to go upstairs? <laughs> I said music earlier. This is the ballroom. Isn't that interesting? That's true. So, ladies, if you are all members Simple. of Order of the Eastern Star, can you ring the bell once? How about the bell? Okay, you just want to do that. So much heartache. You are very kind. Thank you. Thanks. Oh! It's so I'm interesting. Respectful. Dude, you're respectful. I like you. Yeah. You're very kind. Yeah. Like, it's this is good energy here. But like... Seems like the kind of grandma got a little bowl of candy. Right? I mean, they never found me. It's almost like she was hiding. <gasps> yeah. Dude, what? The fucking moment I walked over here, that noise stopped. It's like a, it's like a rolling ball, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, so, a walker or a cane? Yeah. I mean, I've been following you. So, so woman, for mine. I mean, they're saying again, you are very kind. That it says green eyes, which I have green eyes. And I've been following you. Do you have a crush on Jeff, the man in the chair right here? He's probably about your age. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That said yes. No. Yes. yes. She has a crush on me. And Geraldine. Sorry, Mary. Geraldine. Oh my God. <laughs> Gerald. All these older ladies. So Geraldine, you have a crush on 
Jeff, that man right there, can you ring the bell? It's either or. He's like, come on, please ring, don't think that bell. ring the bell. <laughs> you have a crush on him, ring that bell. Maybe Geraldine doesn't. The other one I have, the other one. Oh, that's... That's gotta hurt your ego, man. <laughs> ask the other, by ask, the other, ask the other name. The name before yeah. that I did. Say Agatha. Helen? Yeah. Agatha? People are, yeah. What? Agatha or Helen? Do you have a crush on Jeff? I take that as a yes. <laughs> Anything, yes, he has. <laughs> yes. He's I desperate. <laughs> she pushed. Remember when oh, Ghost pushed oh, someone down the stairs? The crazy woman kind yes. of had to stand with her. Mm -hmm. Right here on. And she swore that she got pushed. Literally on this staircase. She swore. She got pushed. And that's crazy because it would probably be a female spirit that would have pushed her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Creepy. 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 <laughs> They think he's creepy? You guys think this guy's creepy? Can you oh, no. ring the bell? That's oh. not having to do with me. That's the story of getting put on the <laughs> Geraldine, Agatha, Helen, anybody. If you think that guy right there in the chair is creepy, ring that bell one more time, please. <laughs> We will make a noise. Oh, well, they did. Changing the subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Geraldine likes Here, it. Here, you want to hold one. this? Battery. Geraldine toss me that battery. Who is it that doesn't thinks I'm a creep? Is it you, Helen? Is it you, Geraldine? Give me a sign. That was her. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's so funny. Geraldine. She thinks you're a mess. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Geraldine, come on, man. Okay. I don't know what you have against me. Okay, I don't know how to interpret that. Tell me what that means. But it just said I'm angry. Also, when I went and grabbed that battery, I heard like a <laughs> behind us. Are you guys having fun with us? This is a good time? Come on, you can say yes if you want. <laughs> Please say yes. <laughs> or ring the bell twice. It's hard to see Jeff. Pressure. Yeah, she's put, I know. He's, pressure I know. <laughs> He's pressuring you. Yeah, come on, come on. Yes. Ring the bell once. Or say yes on this. Or on the spirit talkers. Come on, ladies. Who are you? <laughs> Come on, you know who I am. I'm Jeff. I'm Jeff, man. Okay, guys. One of you women said you're angry. It could be Alma, Geraldine. But someone was talking about an angry woman who pushed another woman. Is there an angry woman spirit? that's here in the mansion with us. Can you ring that bell again or touch any of these lights like you've been doing? Even make a noise to let us know. If you do any of that, it'll mean yes, there's an angry woman here. Okay, that's good. Now touch that bell, could you? Can you? Please. Pain. Oh. I wish I wasn't making that noise right then. <laughs> I just heard a loud knock over here. There's three of us. Okay. Agatha. Uh, is it, is it, Althea. Is it Althea? Yes. Oh, it, yeah. 
was a knock yeah, right over here. Actually, like, actually, there's a lot of noises here. Is there an angry woman here? Abandon. This thing doesn't want to focus. Abandon. Well, they would be kind of like abandoned and maybe left here in the home, you know? The house was also abandoned oh, like five yeah. years ago. Yeah, definitely. Mary, that's not here. No, not here. Mary, Mary, There's not an angry woman? Is there anything that we can do to help you? Would you like help? And you can answer in that box, yes or no. Hello, new friends. Huh? Hello, new friends. Hey. Oh it's funny to think about, like, I mean, this house is, I mean, people weren't really speaking to the spirits here until very recent. Oh. oh. That's a thing. Until, like furniture being dragged. until very, very recently. Oh. And so. Dude. Okay, stop. Hello, new friends and hi on two different devices. That's what I'm saying. It's like. Even in a nursing home, like, they get lonely there. It's just like they're kind of put there at the end of their life just to kind of, like, sit there. And so, like, having guests come and, like, conversate with yes. them and, like, joke around. I mean, I'm sure they really, really like this. We live on here. I, we live on I, here. I think that they're actually, that's what they're doing. They're actually like, having fun with Like, us. shooting the shit with yeah. us. Yeah. So, you women who are here, like you just said, the house was abandoned for so long. Are you happy that we're in here talking to you, just hanging out? Can you ring that bell and let us know that you like when we hang out with you? We'll, we'll stay longer if you do that for us. They cremated my body. It also just said graveyard over there. Mm -hmm. I know you. Do you know what my name is? Okay. Yeah. I miss my family. Oh. That's sad. Okay, she's Look at how it's going the exact same time as that. More asking Mary to keep talking. Can you tell me a family member's name? Somebody maybe from my family or from your family? Would you like to hear some music? Or did you like to dance? I know when I went to visit my mom, in the home like this, she liked to listen to music. And we would have tea and cookies. I mean, when you think about it, the only real men that ever stayed here were the original owner who died here, and then maybe a family who lived here. Yeah. Heart, heart. She died right there of a heart attack in that chair. Is this still the woman who died of a heart attack? Can you ring that bell if she's still here with us speaking, Agatha? Suddenly. She said in the interview, she died like suddenly, never woke up. She collapsed on the mm -hmm. hall there. I keep feeling like I'm hearing like footsteps upstairs. Mm -hmm. oh, you guys? Yeah, for sure. There's, it sounds like something's up, upstairs. Do you want us to go upstairs? I mean, it could be the sound of her cane, mm -hmm. too, because she had, what, was it a gold cane? Uh -huh. Like she got the gold cane for being the oldest in the state of Massachusetts. Uh-huh. 
So, I mean, even just hitting on the floor when she walks. Althea, we're calling out to you. Can you come speak with us, please? Congratulations on being the oldest woman or person in the state of Massachusetts. That's an amazing achievement. I think that's really cool that you got that award. Althea, if, you, if you're here, can you ring that bell or touch the red light or just give us a sign? I'm agitated. I was about to say, it feels like the energy shifted. It does, mm. because it was just so warm and We're kind laughing. of grammarly. Oh. oh, that's true. Dude, now we got the angry woman with us. Photos. You're mad because we're taking pictures and photos in here and videos? Is that why you're agitated? Oh. Maybe this is the headmistress or whatever her name was. Anybody else got any mistress? Is this the the matron of the house? Matron. Do you like it that we're here? Dude, I could see the matron of the house being angry because it's three men that are here. Mm -hmm. And they probably weren't allowed in here. And we're not members of the Eastern, Eastern Star. star. Mm -hmm. We're three unaffiliated mm -hmm. men and a woman who's not an Eastern Star member. So the other older woman might be just willing to have a friend talk, but the matron would be kind of pissed that mm -hmm. we really don't belong. Right. Hear my footsteps. Oh. I just... Did you hear that? Yeah. There's the train. What a creepy train. Oh, I didn't even know there was a train around here. It's like a horror movie noise. Oh. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Dude. Oh my god. Trains are so creepy. I know. Especially that one. It's so high pitched. It's dissonant tones. Yeah. Where do you want us to go? Do you want us to go upstairs? Maybe ask one or two. Will you ring the bell if we should go upstairs to Althea's bedroom and try to speak with her? You guys said that there was something we could do to try help you. We want to figure out what that would be. Da, 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 da. Okay. What? My mom did that all the time. Shave and haircut, two bits. So that's something that older, you know, people did a lot. Uh -huh. But she always did that. That's mm -hmm. so crazy. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Could you knock the end of this to us? Oh. There's lots of us. Gee. There's yes. lots of us and permission. So we have your permission, or we have to ask. Yeah. Okay, can you, re we're gonna ask right now, can we please have permission to go upstairs? I know that those are private quarters for women, but we really wanna talk with Althea, and we just don't wanna make her come downstairs, we wanna go up to her. Okay. There's five of us. Ah. Be wary of her. Oh! Oh my god, bro! This is insane, dude! So how many women were named on your device? Good. <laughs> A lot. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go up and see Althea. Is there anything else you want to say to us before we leave? 
Thanks for giving us your permission. We appreciate that, all five of you women who are here talking to us. This is nuts. This honestly could take the cake for some of the most intelligent paranormal activity we've ever caught on camera. And it's only been 30 minutes. <laughs> like, these women are here. Okay, and there still hasn't been a male name. I know. It's, it's all women. They're like, yeah, we know. Pause and go upstairs, you guys. This is cool. Yeah, this is really It's cool. funny, like, we've been saying this whole trip, how we're like, oh, why can't we just go somewhere where it's, like, fun and happy? And it seems like all these women are kind of having fun that we're here talking to them. Right. Most of them, at least. That's what it's Except for yeah. Althea, yeah. I guess. Like, <clears throat> no, I think, oh! oh! Whoa! I'm touching your back. Oh, I'm what? It is weird. My back is freezing cold right now. <laughs> That's so backwards. This thing. Oh, dude, I feel chilly too. Oh. I, I actually feel like a cold just came mm -hmm. in, yeah. dude. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna have to quit recording. What the f though? Right when we're about to leave this room, this light starts going crazy. Oh! My God. oh! What the? What did that spell out, Jeff? Yes. 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 I just think it means it's time the to loft. go. The loft. The loft. Let's go. Yes. Let's do it. Another, Another woman's name. I think. Look at that. It's crazy. All women. Damn. Right. It could have been. That's so crazy. Not been. one man's name. It could have no. been a man, a Masonic temple. You're aware of me. You're aware of me. And it would have been all men. It is very cold now. Right? It's definitely colder. It's colder. We should probably pause. So, yeah. it definitely seemed like we were talking to all women spirits in this place. We did feel like we picked up on an energy that had died nearby, uh, possibly from the woman who had a heart attack in the lobby area, uh, and that we were also speaking to Althea, too. And these spirits, they really had a sense of humor. I mean, they had us cracking up and making jokes back and forth. But we did know that we had to go check out another place in this house, upstairs. All right, guys, so we're now on the second floor. We already have been to Althea's room and it's actually insane how much EMF energy and REM pod energy was in there just now. We've reset the REM pods. You can hear that they're not going off. So if they start going off, Something's gonna be weird, but I just want us to walk around to these rooms for a sec using the spirit talkers and listening. Let's see if we hear anything. We can ask some questions. If you're a woman from Louisiana, can you knock twice on one of the walls? You can't really yeah, I can see. see. You can't. I hear. <laughs> what if you turn around the corner and there's a ghostly woman? No, 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 no. Jesus! <laughs> you look creepy in here, dude. What are you? You can't even see a bloody thing. I can see him. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> battery. Oh, battery. Okay. So it's a woman from Louisiana that we're speaking to. Can you tell us what your name is? Or make some sort of a noise to let us know where you're at so we can come talk to you? Neither. Flat bed. Flat butt. Oh, me too. That's kind of rude. I thought it said flat butt. <laughs> that's interesting though. Flat bed. Maybe this is a woman who was in. I'm under these grounds. Again. Mm -hmm. Said that again. Maybe this is one of the women who were here complaining about their bed. Yeah, they might have said, hey, this is kind of a flat bed. Prove. Were you upset with how your bed was while you were a resident here? Straightness. 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 In flat bed? Mom. Straight. Mom. 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 My mom. English. That can mean so many things. They could have been a mother or they missed their own mother while they were here. Is there, is that a flower? Yeah. Same spelling? Yeah. Can you tell me where you are in here? And can you tell us what your name is? We are investigators. Can you make a noise if you want us to go to a different room? We're just here to visit you. I do want us to go out into the hallway. We hear a noise out in the hallway. What's that device? These are devices you can talk to us with. Dude, you know what's interesting is the this place closed in the 90s? They hardly probably ever saw cell phones. No, most of these women yeah. didn't know what a cell phone was. True. The well, device- more like handheld technology, right. really. It's a really mm -hmm. small camera. My name is Walter. Oh, what was that? I know I am dead. Oh my god. What the hell? Shh. Shh. That's the fucking noise we were hearing. Yeah. It's what only. What was that? What did it Brian. say? Is no. this a ritual? Oh, from oh, the days. Oh. oh my god. No, this is not a ritual. Okay, what was that though, guys? It's almost. Yeah. It's like we said dragging or rolling. Yeah. History, I wonder if it's something to do with a ritual. Like right? that they did? What are these words? Right? McPherson? McPherson? McPherson is Let's a go out name. in the hallway, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not kind of Mary, words, like Mary said, it, what, if, what if this has something to do with like a ritual? Yeah. This like that. Starting to go nuts. Liar. This is a little bit of a negative. Dude, whatever that noise is was like something rolling that's like insane how loud that was and it's weird because it sounded like it was coming from before it sounded like it was coming from the room that we were in right are we just gonna keep going should we go down this this is that room where her friend had that experience remember down here yeah shut, shut up, up. Oh. shut up right when you said it's a negative Jeff, you go first. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ask me anything. We're out here. Where do you want us to go? You're coming here? 
can't hardly see anything. Here's the Leave right now. Oh, oh dude, it's, it's, it's gone negative. Outside. I told you that. Where Shh. do you want us to go? Shh. Compulsion. It said garage. But like diet, like go on a diet, shut up. Compulsion. You wanted us to leave that room and you made a sound for us. Althea. Helen. What was the other woman's name? Pa. Agatha. Greta. Pow, like pow. If you're here with us, could you make another noise or use your voice or just... Why is there somebody... <laughs> We're enjoying this. Lynchburg. Lynchburg. Lynchburg, Tennessee? What? What state did it say earlier? Louisiana? Yeah, Louisiana. Yeah. Could it be like where they're from? We are watching you. <gasps> Listen out for me. Cardiac. Cardiac. Oh. Maybe we're talking to this this woman. Oh, yeah. What is that? We're listening for you. Can you make a noise? Did you hear that click again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sturgeon. Sturgeon. Marjorie. Marjorie. Marjorie's name. Another. Trent. Marjorie, if that's you, could you make a noise? Like you knocked before, maybe you were in this room. Can you respond to this? Right here. Can you try to talk to us and make a noise on the floor, knock on the wall? It's the tank in there. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Oh, that one that says Mavis. Oh my is that god. Another, woman? another woman's another name. Another woman. Another woman. Another woman. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Every name has been open. That alone is enough right there. Right? Mm -hmm. free. Connor, open this up, bro. Uh, I'm scared. Dude, open this up. Come on, do it. Slap. Do it. No, I was I was trying to scream like that. I was trying to scare Jeff. Scare us. I was like just watching. I don't even know why I was so chill on that too. I'm like you either scream like crazy, like what the hell? <laughs> Intro for one second. Oh my god! What was it? What was it?
device like, spoke and I just thought it was a voice. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just wasn't oh. used to holding this. This is right in front of me, dude. And I was thinking it's real creepy out here when you don't have night shot. The roasting will, will start online. Dude, it wasn't creepy in here at first, but it's actually like kind of spooky up here. I still can't see shit. I can't see. No. I can't either. Don't walk down the stairs by it. accident. Hey, hey guys, yeah, look where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> no! That's great advice. Oh, could you just do that? What? what? Do the, ooh. Yeah. Oh. Stay yeah. right here. Stay right here? Okay. Okay, what do you want us to do? That's interesting. While we're moving around, it says right. stay right here. Could you give us a sign if you're here? Like, why right here? He. Describe. Interesting that it says he right here. Weird. Dude, maybe that's because the women stay down here and John's <laughs> up in his loft. Like, he only goes here, maybe. This is futile. Mm. I just got like kind of dizzy. Maybe John's the negative one. Is John more of an angry spirit? I got kind of a headache. I mean, before, it's cold right before here. You said dizzy. Actually, for you said dizzy, mm -hmm. isn't it? Try it's take, definitely cold. I'm gonna just take a picture and see if I can catch something. Lover. He's getting these, like, lover. Oh. He, lover. Mm. That's weird. Is this where you'd meet your male lover? Maybe it was like or a woman was, that was sleeping with a staff member. Or, maybe, or it was I'm John. Here. Or it was John's wife. Oh, that was right behind right you. There. Need help. Need help. Not to harm. I need help not to harm. Mm -hmm. Have you hurt somebody before? Have you ever hurt somebody? energy oh my oh. god help me can you find my grave i'm losing energy remember he killed her yeah twice there might be something i feel like this is like the worst i felt in this house right here mm -hmm. yeah this is right like here. A vortex right right here. here well it was so happy downstairs yeah this is definitely off right here person. gentle person so you're a gentle person, you want us to find your grave, you're losing energy, we don't need to be afraid of you? Oh, maybe, because it said not to harm, need help on my device. But what if it's like saying like, please like don't be afraid of me, like I'm not trying to harm you, I need your help, I'm losing energy. And you're like, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think that's exactly what it maybe, is. Maybe this would be a good spot to do the DR60 to try to get him. He killed her. Benedict. And Benedict, the first male name we got. What's that mean? I mean, you could have easily had a male sir, anybody yeah. accost one of the women. What do you need help with? It's so nice to talk. Oh. It's also weird when I, like we first walked over here, I was saying how like I started getting kind of like dizzy just right here. And now the spirit's saying like, I'm not trying to harm you. I'm losing energy. Thompson. Secret. Dude, Benedict Thompson's secret? 
Mm. I think this is the area. Who is Benedict Thompson? Please be careful here. Oh my God. Sorry. Christ. Oh, Jeff. Jeff. Damn it. I was just, God. wait, Benedict wait, 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 again. Wait, wait, wait. Benedict again? Oh my God. Marjorie. Marjorie. Oh. Marjorie. I just like to talk. Oh my God. Benedict. Oh, what? Is there somebody down there? I died in a sword fight. What? I died in a sword fight? That does sound like a pretty Benedict thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Benedict. <laughs> Benedict Thompson. Let's do a DR60. Wait, was that oh been on? Oh my god. Oh wait, that was on. Oh, Mary, look at That's pointed over there. Oh, oh. no fucking way! Oh. What the f***, bro? Yes, yes. That hasn't been going off at all. Holy shit, Until we shit, came in here. Dude. Until we came in here. This is It's literally this is picking where... up someone standing right yeah, next yeah, to that REM yeah. pod. In that picture, bro. Yeah. Is that Althea in the picture? I don't think so. I don't think so. Dude! It's over here. It's over in this corner. You're next. Oh, oh no. We need to try to talk to you guys. Yeah. yeah, we do. Yeah, let's just do it. Come on. Yeah. This is creepy. Okay. Althea? Is that you in here, Althea? Did you know a man named Benedict? Oh! oh. 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 Jesus. Careful, dude. Oh, fuck. I'm right here. Okay. That is what the f bro. It's all over here. Mine's it's all Amelia. over here. This. Plans. Amelia too? Amelia. I'm gonna sit in the middle. Did that, okay, did that ball just yeah. fly off yes. by itself? Yes. Just now? Yes. Because the other ones are still there. Yes. Should okay. Should we turn this off? Yeah. Look, this, this is what yeah. I'm... This place is going crazy, man. What the? Oh, I'm, that's not me. That's Althea, two, can you side. can you knock one of those other ping pong balls Wait, off like you did? That's 22 and a half degrees on the, on the center. That's a 45 degree spread. I mean, it can't be me. What? <laughs> It's four five. It's just twenty. <laughs> you always say that it's a twenty-two and a half degree spread right here. <laughs> it's so funny, bro. Oh, this is my happy place. This no. is Althea's room. <gasps> True. I cannot focus with these. Here we go. Come on, make another something else happen. Watch out for that forty-five degree spread, man. Oh, look at this. You made fun of me and look what it's doing. <laughs> <laughs> the upstairs of the mansion is way creepier, I gotta say. I went up there by myself to get some of the B-roll for this episode and I was walking around by myself making TikToks and I actually scared myself so bad I thought I saw a shadow that I stubbed my knee or like hit my knee on one of the bedposts and gave myself a bruise so that wasn't fun. But 
I mean, you can feel the energy. It's just a different energy up there. This is almost a little more stalker-like spiritual energy. It's not as friendly. But after being up there and starting to get some answers by the staircase, we decided we wanted to go try to talk to Althea because she seemed to be the woman who was talking to us, who was telling us these stories. And the moment we got into her room, we realized this is where we were meant to be all along. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you got this car? Yeah. This one's yeah. look at this. Crazy, 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 crazy. Colin. This is Althea's room. That too? Yeah, that too. But I mean, dude, this thing around. never goes off. Look at I'm gonna zoom in on this. Oh my god, bro! Come on, focus on that. I'm gonna get this one. All the way to the maximum, bro. Holy shit. This one's this is going crazy. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, Jeez. she's in here, bro. Railroad. Where? We just heard the train. Dude, what are the odds? And to... Oh, God. Althea? Are you here with us? I'm gonna, oh! oh! I'm gonna put this over the top. Dude! Oh, my God! Wow! Jeez. Oh. Oh. This thing's going nuts. Don't look at that thing over there. I know. Dude! This Dude. Is Oh. oh! What? Oh. Althea. Look at it, it's still on though. Can you stop touching that one by your picture? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Dude. Oh. This is absolutely. Guys, we just set up in here. Look at, we're about to change cameras. How was that? Thought out there in the hallway. Dude, oh I've never God. seen this thing. Look at how much. That's the static meter and the rev meter. <laughs> so, oh my oh. God. Althea, can you please stop setting these off? Follow. Wow. All you gotta do is step out of the room. Oh. Wow. Go reset that. Oh. It's nuts. Well, well, this yeah, was this really, is this is really crazy. So, essentially what just happened there, I mean, even this is going crazy. Rivers sure. flow. I'm gonna turn this off. Is that what it said? Yeah. Rivers oh. flow. Rivers flow nearby. Well, there is well, a course. river nearby. There is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What the f***? All right, Althea, we're gonna come in in a one wow. second. So what just happened is we walked in here and we were just setting up our equipment and both of these REM pods started hitting to the max in this room. This is Althea's room. So. I'm right. Damn. <laughs> I'm spot, you think? Okay. Look at bro. Center. Yeah. Theta. What is it? Theta? Theta. Dude, and it's not going off like that. There you go, look at it. <laughs> That's crazy. Look how close you have to be to this one to set it off. You can't even adjust the sensitivity. You have to be right here. And it was going like that, like touching it. That's trippy. Oh, it's crazy. All right. Okay, guys, so we're now in Althea's bedroom. We've had some incredibly intelligent activity just up, I mean, this whole night has actually been crazy. But just here in this room, like right when we came in, the stuff that just happened, the ball flew off of this mantle right here. The REM pod went off when the music. Honest. Honest, like, and it's like Althea wants to tell us right now her story. She says like, I know how I died. I'm gonna be honest. We got uh, Benedict twice right there on the stairs. So it seems like Benedict has a, some sort of something to do with this story, but we're gonna do a DR60 right now. Let's try to figure out how Althea died and what we can do to help her. Because remember, she said, find my <coughs> grave. Do you wanna do?
right when we started talking about Althea and going to her grave. Let's figure out what Althea wants. And I guess they already know how she died. She knows how she died, but she wants us to come to her grave. And there's something to do with a Benedict. So we're gonna start this EVP session. Althea, we're just coming right now to speak with you. Can you tell us your name loudly and clearly so that we know that we're speaking with you, Althea? Althea, you lived here in this house for a number of years. Were you happy here? Althea, can you tell us how you died? Can you tell us why you were saying the name Benedict? Who is Benedict? You said you want us to find your grave. Why do you want us to find your grave? Is there something you want us to bring to you at your grave? What is your favorite part of the house that you really enjoyed being in? Favorite part of the house. Althea, I know you won an award for being one of the oldest people in Massachusetts. How old were you or what did you win? Whoever we've been talking to tonight, can you tell me if you enjoyed living in this house? And Althea, my final question. We've gotten the word secrets so many times on our devices. What secret are you talking about? I think it's also weird. We never really talked about that noise we heard in the hallway. It was almost like a door or like a chain or something before we came in here because of the REM pod. Yeah. And I just realized we never even addressed that. I forgot about that. I know, right? That's right? crazy. Everything happened like really fast yeah. that got us into this room. Ready? Yeah. Althea, we're just coming right now to speak with you. Can you tell us your name, mildly and clearly, so we know that we're speaking with you, Althea. Oh, I hear Althea. No. Can you tell us your name, mildly and clearly, so we know that we're speaking with you, Althea? Althea, we're just coming right now to speak with you. Can you Sophia, you lived here in this house for a number of years. Were you happy here? Sophia, can you tell us how you died? It sounds like it says that was a heart attack. Can you 
Can you tell us why you were saying the name? Can you tell us how you died? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Why you were saying the name Benedict? Who is Benedict? Well, when we talk about Benedict. Why you were saying the name Benedict? Who is Benedict? He said he wanted to find you. Why you were saying the name Benedict? He was my was my lover? No. It sounds like lover. standing right there. Can you push one of these ping pong balls off? I mean, honestly though, how insane is that? You literally shut off that yeah. thing. It was trying to send a message to that and like t- five seconds later, it moves over there and <laughs> yeah, starts hitting. Yeah. This thing is crazy. It starts hitting that one. Like that was hitting. Because when you were saying those things, you know, like you said, it was a heart attack. It would go Mm-hmm. And then he turns yeah. it off. Or if it's with Benedict, yeah. like, trying to show, and then he shut him down. Then, then he's like, okay, I'm going to speak up over yeah. here. I mean, that's just, that's meant, this whole, pl- this is like so active it here. So active. I'm going to go here. Remember you finished your grade? I think it's like. Is there something you want us to bring to you at your grave? What is your favorite? It's kind of weird though. It kind of sounds like... Althea? Okay. You said you want us to find your grave. Why do you want us to find your grave? Is there something you want us to bring to you at your grave? Mm-hmm. It sounds like what yes, please. Your favorite bring me flowers. Right. Really Whoever's been 
actually says a lot. It does say a lot. Kind of like it's saying the age and then... I know. I heard like I was something. I should find out exactly how she was. Whoever we've been talking to tonight, can you tell me if you enjoyed living in this house? Yes, I did. Whoever we've been talking to tonight, can you tell me if you enjoyed living in this house? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. And I'll see you my final question. We've gotten the word secret so many times on our devices. What secret are you talking about? What? So many times on our devices. What secret are you talking about? Bam. Well, that's really interesting, guys. I think we should ask one more DR60, just one round of questions about this secret, and then do the Estes. Because okay. it sounds like Althea really has something she wants to tell us. Mm -hmm. So what do you think that you heard? I almost heard something about an affair. All right, Althea, we've been speaking to you all night. What's the secret that you've been telling us about? You can be honest with us like you were saying. Don't be scared. What happened? We really want to know who Benedict is. Can you clarify who that was to you? Althea, did you have an affair, or did somebody in this house that you know of have an affair? Althea, no disrespect, um, but you're, you've passed and you're safe. But I thought you said there were some bad secrets. Does that mean that possibly you were involved with hurting someone or something to do with a baby or something like that? We also got the name Marjorie twice. Althea, do you know who Marjorie was? Or what happened to her? Is there any other spirits in the house tonight? Can you tell us their names? Dude, right after I pointed my camera over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this. Oh, That's you hear that banging? Yeah. Well, plus it's like if you asked if there more, were more spirits. It's right? Like, it's like, yeah, we're a bunch of us are here. It's oh like, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like actually yeah. insane how yeah. like intelligent this haunting yeah. is. Yeah, it really is. Like, and we've just scratched the surface too. Yeah. Yeah. This is one where I wish we actually had more time. I know. Because this yeah, is exactly. crazy. I mean, it's like a really <coughs> interesting haunting. You know, it's not like scary. But it's, <sighs> it's just like, oh. Oh. It's like the scary. Oh. Dude. All right, let's listen to this last one. Then we'll do the Estes. Who that was to 
It sounded like there is, and then there are too many. Well, guys, I think, A, it's time to hit the Estes method so we can get some real answers to this mystery because this is, we're getting closer, but we still don't have answers yet. And I think we need to put, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I think we need to put Mary under tonight so it's a woman talking to a woman. Are you ready, Mom? Yes. <laughs> I've never done it before, so. I'm sure you still want to do it here. We'll yeah. In the chair. I mean, we are in Althea's room. Yeah. And I'm freezing, and I look like an old, older woman okay. sitting and sure. trying to stay warm. Well, I guess we're just going to do it here. So there was a lot of energy in this place. I mean, nobody's really done that many investigations here, so it's really impressive to see what these spirits can do to the devices, knowing that they really haven't interacted with them all that much. I mean, absolutely insane stuff that they were able to do because they had so much power. But it was time to do the Estes, and this time, Mary was going to do it. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video. Let's smash that like button and comment. That was freaky. In the comment section below. I'm going to give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. So go comment. You can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. All right, Althea, we're just here to speak with you. Can you say hi or hello or 
uh, some sort of any greeting if you're here with us. Target Christmas. 25. Are you here, Althea? It just weirdly said, I'm. I have no idea. Althea, could you say your name for us? Or something like. Could you say Althea, your name, whoever you are? It's a star. Is Althea a star? Uh, Eastern, well, star. Eastern star. Oh. Yeah. All right, so quick interruption. I did a Google search just now and discovered that Althea is actually a star that has been named. I don't know if this is what they were referring to with the Estes because the star was recently named in 2018, but I still think it's a really strange connection. Did you like being a part of the Eastern Star? He's everything. Okay. Who is? Who's everything? Is it the guy we were talking about? Can you say his name? I can't stand it. Being away from him? I ran. I, oh, I mean, I think there's more something sinister, you know? Like I killed that, that or something. I've been growing. So Althea, who, who's Benedict? What did Ben did Benedict was he a man that maybe assaulted you? Did you kill somebody? Did you have an affair? Just a little. Just a little affair? Like a, you know, a little affair. Most exotic. Eastern star. What? So Althea were Althea, were there anybody? I am. Anyone? I got the fear. Okay, were you involved in a killing of anything? Like, all right, you knew of a killing with Benedict or someone related to him? Certainly maintain. It sounds like Althea might have hurt somebody. No, we're not trying to make any allegations here, but the... Althea, did you ever hurt anybody in your life, even when you were younger? Just went, yeah. You hurt Benedict? How did you hurt him? I, I coughed. I don't know, just maybe like... She was sick, she coughed on him. I was just thinking like tuberculosis she, days, yeah. whooping cough. She, like she loved him. Yeah. Sword dance. Like bad, Sword dance. Like a bad secret. So I had, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like TV or anything. Like, you know. Yeah. But like, she like, like, like secret Fingers. lover. Oh, I did just hear something. It's like a, he was her secret lover. She like coughed on him or maybe gave, gave him something. He died. Yeah. Secret. It's a bad secret. Yeah. It's like people. Like or she did it intentionally. Loose. You never know. It's loosely oh. intentional. <clears throat> yeah, I, I want to try. Do you miss Benedict? Judgment. somewhat guilty or she's gonna get judged or she's been judged it sounds it really sounds like Althea might have accidentally killed someone she really loved that's a dark secret to hold on to that you'd be unhappy with but why does she want us to go, <coughs> go to her what grave why does she want to do what why does she want us to go to her grave go tomorrow 
Go tomorrow. What do you want us to do when we go to your grave tomorrow, Althea? Wait. Wait for what? What would we wait for you for at your grave? I can't even speak. I'm like kind of cold. Me too, all of a sudden. I'm coming. Fun, fun. Do you want us to leave you something at your grave? Inches. All three of them. <laughs> Shadow. Althea. If, if there was something physical we could bring to you at your gravesite, what would you want that to be? We can bring you anything in the world, but it has to be something physical that we can help you with. Shutter speed. Again, that's not physical, Althea. I'm talking about flowers, a note, a soda pop. Key, key, key. Oh my god. Dude, she just said the shadow's coming too. Remember? It's spicy. It's very It's cold. significantly colder in here. Is that what you said? Yeah. I'm much colder than my legs. You can feel it. Dude, look, it's soft, bro. Oh god. That's what she wants us to bring. In the closet. Oh, I was just oh. looking over there. Like, what is in there? What is it? It leads to another room. Damn, that's creepy, man. Althea, tell us what you want us to bring to the grave. Winter. Tomorrow. Okay. Oh, baby. If we brought you flowers tomorrow, would you like that? Just tell us what you want us to bring to the grave tomorrow. What is it that you want us to bring? Just say it. Rings, rings. Taste. <laughs> Do you have any extra rings on you? We can go to Connor? CVS and get rings. She might like rings. Echo. Do you like jewelry? Althea? Yeah. Do you like jewelry? Should we bring you the rings and some jewelry tomorrow? What do you think? Should we bring the rings to you tomorrow? Some jewelry? What do you think? Dime boy. The hell the Must thing? you win? Dime boy. I can see dime bag. Digger. Ten like me. So Althea, let me get this straight. We're trying to get answers to our questions. Money. Nah, she is mine. I think we bring her some rings and some money. Dimes. Dimes. Dimes, there you go. So Althea. Oh, Althea. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Althea. So Althea, let me get this straight. Benedict? Benedict was your lover. Maybe you had an affair with him. You accidentally got him sick somehow. Hey, hey. And he died from that, and you've always felt guilty. And you'd like us tomorrow to bring rings, like a piece of jewelry and a dime to your grave? Can you say yes or confirm that that's true? And we're not misunderstanding you? You're freaking me out. I think so. <laughs> you, we, we're nailing her. That's Jeff. You can freak out by Jeff again. <laughs> oh, hey, hey Althea, Althea, is this guy creepy? You seem to find him creepy at the beginning. I... <laughs> <laughs> Ask questions. Oh, come a lot of... What the fuck? 
Oh, cum a lot of cum. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have like a strange voice in my head. Ah! It's kind of freaky. <laughs> She really thinks Jeff's creepy. I know, Jeff. Ask your why. Althea, why do you think I'm creepy? Freak. <laughs> They've been roasting Jeff I all know, night long. The best. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh. So Althea, it's been really a treat getting to talk to you. Um, do you do you miss your family? Is there something yeah. you'd want? Is there something you'd want us to tell your family before we go, or any any final words you have for us? Because we have to get out of here soon. If y'all go, we can hear you. I don't know. It's a good thing. Maybe if we if we go to the grave, they can hear us there. If we all go, yeah. I don't know why I have so much like music, like so, like just like it'll kind of come and go, just like women's voices. I don't. Crazy. Yeah. Althea, do you think like I'm a actually Why a real? Why are you gonna support lips? <laughs> Just one more time. You think this guy is a freak? Oh, that's right. Oh my god. She's like right out of fresh. Go. I guess it's time to wrap up. <laughs> okay. Okay. The owner's coming in with their dog, so we have to wrap up. Yep. Or the owner's downstairs with their dog. Oh my god. Yeah, you might do your first Estes. Oh my god. That was freaky. Yeah, like, so I have that. never. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get anything? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was funny. Really? Yeah. It's like you're different. <coughs> like so weird when you sit and listen to somebody mm -hmm. do it and when you actually do it yourself. But just like weird voices and different voices that come in. But a lot of like little singing women. Oh yeah. And then I'm just like, I don't I don't even know. Or weird words. Yeah, that was okay. really cool. Okay. Yeah. We we basically need to bring her rings, rings? and dimes. and dimes rings. to her grave. A little jewelry. And oh. she seems like she coughed on Benedict, her lover, and accidentally killed him. Oh no! Yeah. Maybe she, she was sick. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. Weird. All right. Oh. Cut. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. Oh. So that Estes was absolutely insane. It was hilarious. We were cracking up, but. Mary did such a great job conveying Althea to us. I mean, or whoever it was, but we think it was Althea. And it seems like she really misses somebody. She misses somebody that was in her life. She might be confused. I mean, there were so many different things going on during that Estes, but it really seemed like Althea was just this sweet, kind of spunky old woman who really liked to crack up and laugh and even roast people. It was just, I feel like if she were alive and we would have met her, we could have all had a really good time. But during that Estes, Althea told us something about wanting rings and dimes. I don't know what the relevance of that is. If you guys have any ideas, comment it in the comment section. But the next morning when we woke up, we contacted the property owner, asked her if she knew where Althea was buried. Luckily, at the last moment before we left town, somebody she knew contacted her and sent her a printed out page of a local cemetery denoting the exact spot where Althea was buried. So, of course, we had to head out there to say our goodbyes. All right, everybody. So last night at the end of our investigation, we were told by Althea to come to her grave. We don't really know what that meant. We still don't really know what that means. Hopefully investigators in the future can figure more of that out. But 
of all things, she asked us to bring some jewelry, some rings, and dimes. So this morning we went to a bagel shop and got breakfast and we purchased, purchased our, some dimes. We got some change and got some dimes. And then if you want to show Jeff, we also went to Target and got some rings uh, to leave for her, along with some flowers. So I'm gonna leave some dimes. Oh yeah, and here's Althea's grave right here. 1883 to 1990, Althea Hallberg. 107. That's crazy. Oh. Yeah, so as you can see right here, Althea was 107 years old. Something else I think is interesting is that she's not buried with a husband or a man. She's buried with another woman. Helen, we got Helen on our device last yeah. night. Helena. Helen. Isn't that kind of weird? We got Helen on our device. Yeah. Her name's Helen, Helena, Helena, however you say that. Helena. Helena, weird. Althea, thank you so much for coming and speaking with us last night. We had a blast talking to you, honestly. It was really, really fun. Um, so we came here and we brought you some gifts. Here's the dimes. Here's the dimes that you wanted. We also brought you these three rings. Oh, did anybody even notice it was a butterfly ring? That's cool. That's kind of weird. Did that's you guys weird. notice that I that's the know. one you picked out? I did. Uh, that's my sign of God is butterflies. Wow. Cool. That's really that's super that's, cool. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, that was meant to be Althea. And some flowers for you, Althea. And I guess Helena too. Yeah, I mean, it's like, thanks for allowing us to to really communicate with you last night, to show up. It sounds like you had a complicated lifestyle. I'm, again, hoping that um, you're in a good place right now. And I bet you're happy that we've, uh, we've come to visit you. So, again, RIP. Thanks for speaking with us last night, Althea. And you sound like an amazing woman and we wish we could have gotten to know you. Yeah, thank you for coming to talk to us. Uh, sorry we had to bring the freak, but <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciate you coming out and having fun with us. Thank you, Althea. We love you. We'll come back to see you sometime. Yeah. Well, Okay. That's a wrap, guys. Yep. Now it's time to bring Mary and Jeff to the airport. Oh. Gotta go to balmy Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> the end of our trip with them. Oh, wow. That's been, been a good fun. one. It's been Except really good. Connor. It's been really <laughs> fun. Oh. <laughs> Althea probably likes that. Yeah, yeah. she does like that, actually. She's a joker. All right. All right. Pause. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're dropping Mary and Jeff off at the airport. We're gonna spoon later. <laughs> Me and you? <laughs> Virtually. Ah. Oh. We'll FaceTime. We just taught Jeff what the word spoon means like a day ago, so I don't know if you fully grasp what it means yet. No cap. No cap. Period. Riz, bro. <laughs> yeah, give us a good, Riz. Give us a good Riz. Riz, bro. Bomb is spooks with the moves. The I know. What the hell? What's going on? <laughs> oh, there's Blaze Fighter. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Bye, Mary. All right. Okay. Give him a big hug. Aww. Aww. Come on. Good to see Good you, to man. Love you. Love you. Thanks for coming. All right, don't Love forget you, your kisses from Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> you check my ear out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Fun.
Yep. Thanks for joining Thanks for us, fun, guys. That was a good Everybody. Trip. Yep. We had a fun trip. All right. Yeah. Peace. We'll see you on the next one. Back to the pug wudgies. Back to the pug wudgies. Pug, whoa, whoa, pug wudgies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we can pause. Potato that. wedges. Yeah. The Wheeler Mansion is a place that I would love to live. I mean, this place is beautiful. All the spirits here. I honestly wish that a lot of the places that we went to had fun and playful ghosts like this one did. I mean, we were cracking jokes back and forth all night with them, and I feel like they really did enjoy having us there. Uh, it really felt warm and wholesome that we were able to talk to these spirits that hadn't really had the chance to communicate with many people. Um, at the end of the day, I will say that this place is definitely haunted, though. And I would love to go back and see what else we can get. So the Revival Wheeler Mansion, guys. What a beautiful property. What a fun property. You know, typically on the show, we choose to investigate darker locations. People are always saying, why is there so much demon and why is a demon and darkness and blah? It's because we choose places. I mean, think of this trip, the Conjuring House, which ended up being pretty positive energy, but it's known to be terrifying. The Lizzie Borden Axe Murder House. SK Pierce Mansion murder house, like rape room. We just choose those locations. So it was honestly refreshing to be in a place where we were giggling and laughing and cutting up and just enjoying speaking with these spirits. And I think that's what's beautiful about our show and this program and what we get to do here at the Paranormal Files. We get to show people that there's more, you know, there's more to death than just a, a, a black space. There's something afterwards. Now, I, I never am one to claim that I know exactly who we're talking to, what we're talking to. I don't even know what a ghost really is or what my personal beliefs are. But you cannot watch our videos and say nothing is happening. What we are documenting on this channel is a clear pattern of activity that is occurring all over the world. And it's beautiful, but yeah, Althea seemed like an awesome woman. We had such a great night. Thank you to the Wheeler revival mansion for having us out but anyways guys we have a couple just insane episodes coming soon so get ready for that thank you for joining us this evening uh hope you have a great rest of your week from all of us here at the paranormal files we love you and stay spooky Hello! <laughs>